Welcome back to another tutorial. Today I'm going to show you how to increase your PC sounds no matter what output device you're currently using. So that could be something like headphones or speakers. So the first thing you want to do is go to the link in the description. The top link should take you to this page and this is for the 64-bit version. If you require the 32-bit version, which I know some of you will, you're going to want to go to the second link in the description. That will basically take you to this page where the third one down is the one you want and then I think the setup is just the same so you can follow the setup once you've got it downloaded so we're going to use the 64-bit version as the example today by clicking on this green button we'll get the download started automatically if it doesn't start automatically you can click the direct link now it's not a big file so it won't take too long to download as you can see that in the bottom left once it's downloaded click click on it to open it up and you should have this page the user account control it should be equalizer APO 64 or 32 depending on which version you've got click yes and then you'll it'll bring up the installer first of all click next then I agree and then here you want to make note of this location because you're going to need to go to this later on so make note of it you can obviously customize the location by clicking browse but once you make note make made note of that click next and then here you can check this box so it doesn't create any shortcuts because we don't actually need that then click install now this is the important bit you wanna find your device on here it should be there it'll be probably on the device as you can see I've currently got it set up for this uh, headset that I've got you can obviously choose any one that you want to actually boost the volume for so if you if your device isn't on here it's probably not supported which is unlucky but I suppose some probably will you if that happens if that occurs you're probably going to try and try and uh, update your drivers for that piece of uh, equipment so choose your device on this list we'll just go with this high definition audio one just so we can use it as an example and then you're going to click OK I'm not going to click OK for that I'm going to leave it because I've already set it up so you click OK and it will be the exact same as this now you'll have this and I always just click manually reboot later so you're gonna have to restart your computer after this come back to the video and then we'll continue with the next step okay so you should have restarted by now if you haven't that's your chance do it now and then what you wanna do once you have restarted is go to the location we talked about earlier so in my case it's the local disk and it is the equalizer APO file so once you're inside the equalizer APO but you can click this config folder and in here you want to go into this config text document and open that up and then you should have a lot more writing in it than I do so you want to highlight all of the writing that's in this and delete it all make sure every last bit is gone and then you want to type in the following preamp and then whatever whether, whether that's a semicolon or a colon I can never remember and then either minus or plus now obviously you'll want to do plus for me I've got a minus because I've got mine turned down a little bit so you'll want to just put in plus and then I probably recommend about 10 decibels probably just to start off once you click file and save you should immediately have the increase if you don't something's gone wrong it shouldn't have it should work by now mine works a lot of people's will work but if you're the odd one out that doesn't work there uh, as on the actual equalizer APO website uh, on the SourceForge part of it you can actually find some of the discussion pages which have probably solutions to this problem but if that is the case you can probably try doing this again just to see if it works sometimes it might not work all the time but it should do and once you've done this you can click file and save and that should be it it's all done you don't have to open this up unless you want to change it so I hope you found this video helpful. If you have, remember to leave a like. It helps a lot. And I will see you in another video. Thanks for watching.